Here are 30 most commonly asked smart forms, related interview questions, and detailed answers for SAP ABAP interviews. 1. What is SAP? Smart forms? Answer. SAP Smart Forms is a tool provided by SAP for creating and maintaining forms for mass printing in SAP systems. It is a graphical design tool that allows users to design and print layout-oriented business documents. 2. Explain the key components of a smart form. Answer. Smart form comprises a global layout, pages, windows, and elements. The global layout contains page headers, footers, and margins. Pages hold the layout structure, windows define the output area, and elements include text, graphics, and other data. 3. How do you create a smart form in SAP ABAP? Answer. To create a smart form, use the transaction smart forms. Select form builder and create a new form. Enter a name and the smart form builder will open for designing the form layout. 4. What is the difference between smart forms and SAP script? Answer. Smart forms is an advanced tool with a graphical interface, providing better design capabilities and supports ZML-based output. SAP script is old, less user-friendly, and uses a script language for form design. 5. Explain the purpose of a smart style in SAP smart forms. Answer. Smart style in SAP Smart Forms is a collection of formatting settings for text elements. It helps ensure consistency in font, color, and other formatting aspects throughout the form. 6. How do you pass data from an ABAP program to a smart form? Answer. Data is passed to a smart form through a function module interface. You define importing parameters in the function module and map them to global data in the smart form. 7. What is the difference between a smart form and a SAP script? Answer. Smart forms have a graphical design tool, support for ZML-based output, and provide better formatting options compared to SAP script. SAP script uses a script language and has less advanced design features. 8. Explain the concept of a smart form interface. Answer. The smart form interface defines the parameters that can be passed to and from the smart form. It includes importing, exporting, and changing parameters. 9. How can you add dynamic data to a smart form? Answer. Dynamic data is added using text elements in smart forms. You link a text element to a field in the global data or the interface, and the actual data is populated at runtime. 10. What is the purpose of a smart form function module? Answer. A smart form function module is automatically generated when a smart form is activated. It serves as an interface between the smart form and the calling program, handling data communication. 11. Explain the concept of conditions in smart forms. Answer. Conditions in smart forms are used to control the visibility and formatting of certain elements based on specified criteria. They act as dynamic rules for the form's output. 12. How do you debug a smart form in SAP? A BAP? Answer. Use transaction smart forms and navigate to form interface. Click on the test button to enter test mode and then use the debugging tools like breakpoints or the ABAP debugger. 13. What is the purpose of the smart form context menu? Answer. The context menu in smart forms provides additional options for manipulating elements, such as copying, pasting, and deleting. It offers quick access to common actions for form design. 14. How can you loop through internal tables in a smart form? Answer. Use a loop or in-loop element in a smart form. Link it to an internal table in the form interface, and the loop is processed for each record in the table. 15. What is a smart form node? Answer. A smart form node is a structure in the form tree that represents a logical part of the form. Nodes can contain pages, windows, and other nodes, providing a hierarchical structure to the form. 16. How do you handle page breaks in smart forms? Answer. Page breaks can be controlled using the next page attribute in windows or elements. Set this attribute to specify conditions under which a new page should start. 
17. Explain the purpose of the initialization event in smart forms. Answer. The initialization event is triggered when the smart form is initialized. It is commonly used to set default values or initialize variables before the main processing. 18. How can you include graphics in a smart form? Answer. Use the graphic element in a smart form. Upload the graphic as a BMP, TIFF or JPG file, and it can be included in the form layout. 19. What is the main window in a smart form? Answer. The main window is the primary output area in a smart form, where most of the content is placed. It is the default window that is processed during form output. 20. How do you create a table in a smart form? Answer. Create a table in a smart form by using the Table Painter tool. Define columns, rows, and cell contents. Link the table to an internal table in the form interface for dynamic data. 21. Explain the concept of smart form chaining. Answer. Smart form chaining allows the output of one smart form to be included in another. This is achieved using the call function element to call another smart form within the main form. 22. How do you handle exceptions in smart forms? Answer. Exceptions in smart forms are handled using the exceptions tab in the form interface. You define exception conditions and specify actions to be taken when these conditions are met. 23. What is the purpose of the page protection attribute in Windows? Answer. The page protection attribute in Windows prevents a window from being split across two pages. It ensures that the entire window content is displayed on single page. 24. How can you translate a smart form to different languages? Answer. Translation in smart forms is done using the translation environment. Use transaction smart forms and navigate to form translation to maintain translations for various languages. 25. Explain the significance of the loop at statement in smart forms. Answer. The loop at statement is used to iterate over internal tables in smart forms. It is linked to a loop element and processes the loop for each record in the internal table. 26. What is the purpose of the address node in smart forms? Answer. The address node in smart forms is a standard structure for displaying address information. It simplifies the formatting of addresses by providing predefined fields. 27. How can you include dynamic page numbers in a smart form? Answer. Dynamic page numbers are included using the page element in smart forms. Link the page element to a counter variable in the form interface to display dynamic page numbers. 28. What is the difference between text and text module in smart forms? Answer. Text is a simple text element, while text module allows you to include reusable text blocks. Text modules are stored centrally and can be shared across multiple smart forms. 29. How do you transport smart forms between SAP systems? Answer. Smart forms are transported using the standard SAP transport request mechanism. Use transaction, say 71, to create a transport request containing the smart form. 30. Explain the role of the end of page event in smart forms. Answer. The end of page event in smart forms is triggered when the content of a page is complete. It is used to perform actions at the end of each page, such as totaling or printing subtotals. These questions and answers cover various aspects of smart forms in SAP, ABAP, providing a comprehensive understanding for interview preparation. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. 
It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.